Welcome back, Michael Warriors. Today we're gonna do some grain spawn. I prefer to do corn grain spawn. Um, I find it exceptionally cheap where I get it from, and it's easy to do. So I'm gonna do two jars today total. So this should be enough for filling two jars. The popcorn will double in size whenever you boil it today to get it to hydrate back to where it needs to be so that we can do this. First, just start by putting your corn in your pot. And you're gonna need to fill it up with some uh, water to cover it about an inch or so above the corn. Now for reference on that, there's one liter of corn and three liters of water. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on high, which is going to start bringing this water up to a good temperature to boil. We don't want to get it to boil necessarily, but we do want it to get to a, a low boil, kind of a simmer. Um, you can put it on three or you can put it on your low, medium, low setting on your stove and take it to simmer if you'd like and stirring it occasionally or like I'm doing currently, I have mine set to high and I'm going to stir it pretty often so that we make sure that we don't burn anything on the bottom of the pot. We don't need any necro corn in there causing a problem or trying to start up some bad bacterial growth or anything crazy And like I said, I'm just going to continue to stir it occasionally, more, more often than you would if you were trying to just get it to simmer on a simmer setting than if you have it on high. High, you're going to need to stir it quite a bit more often to make sure that nothing burns. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to warp forward from here and come back whenever this is actually getting ready to be turned down so that you can see exactly what the simmer looks like before you cover it. All right, we're back. And as you can see, we're starting to get some crab bubbles means it's getting ready to be perfect simmering so we just have a couple more minutes maybe I don't know 30 seconds to a minute and a half maybe and this should be ready to turn down to simmer and cover and sit for um, 45 minutes while it simmers
now you can see that the simmer is happening pretty well in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our cover on. And we're going to turn our heat down to a simmer. We're going to simmer this for 45 minutes. And you're going to want to come back every 7, 8 minutes or so and give it a stir to make sure that nothing's sticking to the bottom, nothing's burning, anything like that. And then uh, we'll come back and check on it in about 40 minutes. All right, and we're back. It's been about 39 minutes. We got about a minute left in this cooking, so go ahead and start getting ready for that. Glue on and check to see how well this is. I'm not going to take it off immediately. I'm going to first I'm going to pull out a piece of corn and see if it's the proper uh, consistency. And if it is, then we'll pull all of it off and throw it in the strainer and go from there. All right, so you hear the timer in the back. It's been 40 minutes, so we're just gonna take a couple of pieces out here. And you shouldn't be able to squeeze it and burst it, but you should be able to bite it in half and then squeeze it. But you can see inside there, it's still pretty dry. So we're gonna let it boil it or simmer here for another five minutes or so. back all right and it came back after five minutes and uh checked it it was not quite done so i gave it another 10 and now and i'm right into it it's perfect so just for size reference uh, let's burst This one hasn't had anything done to it, and this one's been boiled. You can see the difference in size in them pretty well. All right, so we're gonna strain this stuff. back Michael Warriors we got our grain over here it's done resting it's cool we're gonna take some and we're gonna put some right here on this piece of toilet paper we're gonna give it a about five ten seconds to just sit there and we want to pick it up uh, you want there to either be nothing or just very few faint spots this is perfect. So now we're gonna load up our jars.
right now we've got our two jars that are full and we've got our lids this is a syringe that we're going to throw in here today to sanitize um, take our lids and just put them on finger tight and then just a little bit and then we're going to take our aluminum and place it over the top of our jars this way we don't get any water down in our uh, breather port or syringe filter however we want to look at it and think about it So next we're going to get our jars, we're going to place them into our super fast pot and our syringe, we're going to place that in here too. All right, and then we're going to take and we're going to put some water inside of here and come up the jars just a little ways, not a whole lot, maybe, a, maybe an inch up the jars. And as far as the super fast pot goes, to come up the proper amount, it's going to be just about two one liter jars. I'm going to rearrange these on the sides, so that way I can set this across the top like that. Finish adding our water. Our top on. super fast pot and I'm not using a pressure cooker or a pressure canner or anything like that uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on the sterilized setting and we're gonna put it on there for hot on high and for one hour because it only gets to about 12 psi in here as far as I understand so let's just get it started and now it'll preheat once it's done preheating, it'll pressurize. Once it's done pressurizing, it'll start the timer of one hour. And we'll be back uh, about the time it's done. All right, it's been about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. And the pressure is gone out of this super fast pot. Um, so we can unlock it and take off the lid at this point. To remove our syringe and grab ourselves an oven mitt so we don't burn ourselves this is still super hot take these guys out and set them off to the side so that they can cool and they won't kill our mycelium when we put it in there. Because right now it's much too hot to put mycelium in there. So, we're going to go ahead and let this cool. And we will be back in a few hours to get our liquid culture 
injected into our uh, grain spawn. And we're back. The grain has cooled down considerably. It's showing 79 degrees there, 79 degrees there. So it's plenty perfect temperature to be adding some liquid culture to. Got our liquid culture over here. We're just gonna turn this on to get this magnetic spinner going so that it can spin this up. And while that's doing that, we're gonna move our box out so that we can get our hands underneath. And then I'm gonna tape it in place, a few pieces of tape, so that it's less likely to get pulled up while I'm working. Do the same thing to the other side. You just have to use your imagination that you can see what I'm doing on this side. Let me get one here in the back too. Just for good measure. All right. Just got both of our gloves on. Now, we have our grain spawn here. And our box there so I'm gonna set this up so you can see inside the box and I'm gonna go ahead and start and spray this spray myself down Go ahead and turn this off. Let's spray this down too. I'm gonna start by taking the lid off. All of these. And then we'll open up our syringe to be sterilized with our grain. You notice it's open. I'm going to just push out all of the air that's in there. That was good sterile air. And then we're just gonna inject. We're not inject, we're going to Stick our needle in, tip our jar to this side, and just pull up 10 milliliters. Pull it out. Stick it in. And then spray about five milliliters or so in here. Switch.
we put our covers back on our jars we pulled them out of the box um, so after we get all of that liquid culture put in there what you need to do is just kind of mix it around and get all of that good all over all the grain so that you don't have any issues And then finally, uh, we need to label them. So I'll get my Sharpie. And with my Sharpie, I'm going to label it. HB, LC, 1229. HBLC1229. And then we're just going to take those and put them in an incubation box. And we should have grain spawn in a couple weeks.